Okay, we're going to take a Lenovo, I think you said it. And we're going to redo everything on it, put a new system. This is a Lenovo T410. These are very neat little computers, laptops. A lot of power, 8 gigabytes max of RAM. I've got a 300 gigabyte hard drive in it, I do believe. But it has the little trackball, your regular mouse. So we're going to shut down. And so we're going to put in a Windows CD of Windows 7 so that when we do restart we'll do it up here and we'll detect the DVD and do its job say press any key to continue and we'll take it from there now it's a good idea for safety sake and everything else to make sure that this is plugged in. What that does is ensure the power is there, it's charging, and that no interruptions from power or service will happen. That way we'll have a clean install with no error. Okay, now we're simply going to power it up with the DVD in. should boot up first. Press any key to boot from CD or DVD, which we just did. Now we'll set up English Windows 72, which is exactly what we're going to do. We don't want Chinese simplified, so we're, we have a 64-bit system. The Lenovo T410, this one has an i5 Intel Core V Pro which means it's not Centrino or cheap copper parts. Now Windows is loading a file. See how simple that was? Right off the bat, it'll be in a panel or something. Basically, take a couple screws off to check, and it should have the code about that big a size of sticker with your Windows key. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show my Windows key here because a bunch of people can use it and then I won't be able to use it again. Okay, so we're going to go to English, English, US. So as you can see, language is English, format, everything is in order, so we click next. Now, go to install now. I accept the license and then we click next. We're going to do custom because we want a new copy of Windows. Now, on this computer, we have basically a one hard drive that is split into three, which I personally do not like. So, I am going to go to drive options. And I am going to delete this one. If you'll notice, this partition 2 is actually our main hard drive because it has all the free space. These are basically if something happens to your computer and you want a backup. By all means, keep them, but I really see no point in it. It constantly fills up to save more information. You don't need to recover if you ever get a virus. You need to erase it and put a new system on it. So this is only, to me, a way to keep track of every single thing you've ever done on your computer, files, pictures, and everything, in case you want them recovered. Well, I am pretty knowledgeable that I don't need to say I'm going to go to sites and screw up my computer to the point where I need to do this again. 
So I just got this computer, uh, a great deal at the pawn shop, and I'm going to delete all this filler junk. Now it's going to say the partition, blah, blah, blah. If you delete this, any data will be lost. Well, since I just got it, I don't care about it. It's gone. Same with the partition for the system drive, which has backup information stored on it. So that's gone. That's gone. We're going to refresh. Now you see this is the primary. These options are no longer available because we've deleted them. Now right here, we're going to format. So this is going to be a blank slate. And last, we're going to delete. So now what happens is it takes those two drives off, goes right back here. I've deleted, formatted, just to ensure that every way it could be done. Now you'll see the option to delete and format is gone because this hard drive is back to just being blank. Now we're going to go to next. So that's all the information Windows need. They're going to restart several times. It's going to put all the information on it. And then we'll come back. So as you can see, little Nolo is going through the installing process. It's already copied the files. Now it's expanding those files. Then it's going to install it, install updates, and complete installation. If there's any stop in between, I will let you know. Otherwise, we will come back when all these steps are complete. Okay, now as you see, we're back at the Lenovo here. We're down to completing installation. Now it's going to ask you for a password. I don't see a need for one on mine. No big espionage, no Mission Impossible coming to get anything off my laptop. So I'm just going to go to next. Now, mainly, use recommended settings. You can decide later, or install only important updates. For now, I'm going to go to Ask Me Later. Now it's going to ask me for the time. I happen to be on Mountain Time. And it is the 17th of November. 12.29 a.m. Okay, we're all set. So we click Next. Now Windows is finalizing our settings. Now at this point you may think, oh, I'm done, that's it, I can just forget it. So, not the case. So we're going to make sure that we get all set up here, get our updates, and get the system running right. Even put in the programs that should be on there and that are free. So, as you can see, no problem. Went right to where we need to go. Now it's already looking for the internet. That's one of the first things. No connections available. Because so we're going to have to put drivers on it. Now, if you don't have the drivers, what you need to do at this point is get yourself to a place uh, that has a connection. Mainly if you have a, an, everyone has a home PC or another laptop or I've seen people do it with cell phones. You download the files that you need. Like we would go to the Lenovo site, download all the drivers we need manually or you can get a program called driver genius very very good twenty to thirty dollar investment it will scan your entire computer find every update even your motherboards little parts you never thought needed to be updated it'll find those download them you can update them one by one 
So you can Google Driver Genius, and that's a good way to get your drivers. So mainly, we have our drivers. So I'm going to make sure that we um, get the internet driver and everything else we need. And you can always leave your system the way it is, taking forever to shut down, too many backups and everything else. Or you can do this once and get it out of the way. So we're going to go and install our drivers now, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm the Lenovo. I've got my drivers for my wireless. I'm not sure which one it was, so I grabbed two of them. Install them both. If the first one works, well, I'll just get the rest. And you can also go ahead and install. At the same time, if you still have your installation DVD CDN, please remove it. You don't need to read it anymore, it's all installed. We're going to install the Intel Wireless LAN setup. Now, if this is the right driver, then what will happen is it will say, hey, we have a wireless chip in us, let's use it. So we're just going to go ahead and keep installing here. Typical. Now, as you can see, let's change that little wireless sign, so that's a good sign it's installed. Once we have wireless, we can update Windows. Now we're going to pick our connection and connect to it. Now you can set up the home group and do all that now that you're connected to the internet. But I don't need to do that, so... I'm just going to do the simplest parts. I'm going to go to Windows Update. Turn on Automatic Updates. We're going to check for updates. Okay, needs to install new Windows Update software, which is normal. Then it'll close and reopen. Now one of the first things I like to do is, I don't like Internet Explorer, so I go to Google. You can just click Ask Me Later, and unless you want to set up your Internet Explorer connection. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to type in C-H-R-O-M-E. And I am going to download Google Chrome browser.
Okay, now Windows found four regular driver updates. And 138 important updates. So we're going to go to 136 updates for important. We are going to go install updates. Then we're going to click finish. And then we're going to wait as it downloads all the updates and install them. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Install all your updates. Bluetooth and everything is all set up. We're going to install it, update just like you normally would, and you have a running system. Any questions, feel free to message. It's my two cents.